What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you had a great week. Kind of glad that the work week is over so I can finally install my brushless kit. I decided to go brushless because I'm simply just looking for a lot more power um, than what the stock motor can do. The 48 volt controller by fast scooters definitely helped get as much as I could out of it. But I think at this point, I simply just want more. So I ordered one of these Kunray or Kunray, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I have no idea. Today I'm gonna be just opening it and going over all the parts that are included and see what else you need besides this kit to install it on a razor. Oh, it's well packaged. I'm very impressed with how this is packaged. It's not just thrown in the box with a bunch of bubble wrap. Very tightly packaged. A lot of protection. So just to go over everything that came in the box, starting with the big thing is the brushless motor. It's slightly wider than the uh, stock brush motor, so hopefully I don't have any clearance issues. Um, I know I'm probably gonna have to cut this bracket off. I don't think there's space for it. At least cut one side. Let's see, it comes with, comes with an 11 tooth sprocket. The controller, just to give you an idea how big it actually is in dimensions, that's how it looks in comparison to the motor. I would probably say that's maybe about seven or eight inches long with the, uh, with the brackets from one side to the other. I'm definitely gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna mount this thing. Maybe I'll be installing a lithium battery pack in the near future to make more space for this and reduce weight overall. Kind of glad that it comes with a new set of grips with a new set of keys so I can give away my 48 volt kit eventually to someone uh, as a complete kit. So we'll see what this looks like later. Not really sure what this is called, but this is where all the wiring bolts onto to clean things up. This is a speed selector, slowest speed, fastest speed, and it comes with some hardware and some tools. And the most important part is the manual. Seems very, seems relatively simple to set up. I mean, all the wiring just pretty much connects to this. That's where it meets up. So a lot of this wiring is not actually gonna be used. So do not get intimidated by all the wires on the controller. So this whole thing is a lot simpler than it looks. It just happens to have a lot of wires, but it's, Mostly plug and play for the most part. <clears throat> These three wires or phase wires go to the motor. This larger plug is for the hall sensor, also goes to the motor. Um, positive and negative terminals for the battery to power everything else up. There is a e electronic lock, electronic lock and throttle plugs. And those are plug and play for the throttle. The electronic lock is to disable everything with the keys taken out. And those are pretty much the most important wires that you need to hook up. The rest are pretty much optional, like hooking up the brake safety switch or brake lights and stuff like that. So you don't have to hook anything up to it if you don't have those accessories. One thing I almost forgot that also hooks up to the controller is the speed selector, which I'm likely not going to use too often since it's most likely going to be at three at all times. As far as the hardware that they provided, uh, we're likely not going to be using it on an MX650 since the motor actually does not bolt on um, the bottom plate, kind of like how it does on this go-kart on the manual. We're going to be mounting this motor through these threaded holes. So we're going to see if... Uh, how much modification we need to make to this motor to make it fit correctly. Hopefully I don't have to cut it up too much.
So this is how it's supposed to look like all hooked up. The main wires just bolt onto this board and then you snap this cover in place to protect it. And then you have the hall, hall sensors hooked up. This one is the throttle. No, this is the speed controller. This is an electronic lock. And then this is the throttle. And those are honestly it. Uh, that's the most important wires that you need to hook up. Except um, you need to have the obviously positive and negative wires coming from your battery here. Uh, kind of exactly how it, the phase motor um, wires meet up to it. It's going to be hooked up the same way. You just bolt the terminals on there and it'll be very secure. I'm honestly very impressed with how high quality everything seems. Like this motor is heavy, the machining, like it, it this doesn't look cheap to me. Like at least uh, uh, it feels much higher quality than when I opened the fast scooters 48 volt um, kit that I installed. Uh, it's, I mean, I'm not knocking that kit. It's just for something that I bought off the internet for 200 bucks or less than 200 bucks. I'm pretty impressed with what I got. The instructions have surprisingly easy to read English. Uh, you'd really never know with half these manuals. But I did find some funny English back in the q and It's like a different person wrote this section from the rest of it. So since last night's project didn't work out too perfectly with the whole sprocket situation, before I start tearing this bike apart and installing all this, I'm actually gonna hook up power to the controller and test that everything works before installing it so I don't have to take it back apart again later just to end up returning it just like that sprocket. need a 48 volt source to properly test this out so I guess I am gonna have to just start taking the bike apart and at least hook up the power wiring. All right, moment of truth. And just to verify that the speed controller works, let's put it setting one, setting two, setting three. Oh, that's interesting. Setting two seems to be the fastest. Am I crazy? Setting three. Setting two. Setting two seems to be the fastest setting, but we'll find out when we take out the bike. Just so you have a side-by-side -side comparison of how large this thing actually is, look how small this fast scooters controller is it's literally like a third of the size of this so i'm gonna have to figure out where to put this so it looks like the kit came pretty complete with everything you need to install it on a razor um but i'm gonna have to figure out where to put that controller and how much modification the motor needs as far as me chopping off the bracket and uh, making clearance for everything uh, so you'll see that on the next video if you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with this MX650 Super Mini Moto build, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.